So for Father's Day this year, I picked something that, you know, I tend to do myself because apparently I'm too hard and too difficult to purchase for. Anyway, something that flooded my uh, social media, I think it was mainly on Instagram, it could have been Facebook, I don't know. But it was a particular uh, slimline and uh, mini or micro wallet. And I really wanted to get my hands on it. And maybe it was the, the their marketing, so kudos to you for pushing it so much that I thought, you know what, this is something that I haven't seen before. It's not something that you can buy at a local retailer and I wanted to give it a, you know, give it a try. So it arrived and um, let's have a look. Okay, so let's have a look. Now this came in from Germany, so it did take, uh, it was, it was a couple of weeks actually, probably about two weeks that it took to arrive. Um, had a bag, wallet, woo, and some Haribo gummy bears. Ah, that's always handy to have. Anyway, here it is. So the wallet is called Completed. And this is the C2 Advanced version three. So if you can, um, See the text there. Uh, there's not much to the packaging, just a bit of, um, I guess, a bit of paper. Um, open that up. What does it say in here? So it's got the model number again. It's just been perfected. Uh, according to that, it does have, so okay, let's just go through it in detail. Two compartments for your cards. Through the pull tab, you can quickly access your most used cards. Then uh, three to four uh, notes. You can store your bills in into the coin pocket or into the inside compartment of the wallet. There are coins, a separate coin compartment on the side of the wallet, which makes it easy to handle some of your coins, keys or bills, and an NFC chip. Now, not sure that I'll be able to uh, be using my NFC chip, but is it already activated or just... No, anyway, maybe we're gonna set it up. So there is an NFC chip in there. So the idea behind this wallet, I mean, it's quite simple. Um, you got a piece of leather, you got this little tab here to help you pull the elastic off. You open that up, ooh, we'll get a $5 cash back. Um, something about sharing on Instagram, okay. And then in here, 25% uh, oh, discount, great. There's not much of this wallet. Um, you get a piece of leather. Um, it's, you know, it's not an overly big. Let's have a look. Open, you're sort of looking at about, what, 12 and a half centimeters by about nine centimeters. Um, nice, looks like full grain leather. Smells amazing. So the leather test definitely passes. You got this pretty sturdy elastic um, with another pull tab inside, which you go through, and you've got the um, the branding here, and inside the brand behind, I guess the the branding there is the NFC chip, uh, which I can feel, and that little tab is stitched there, and the actual brand is well, F O C X, Fox, I guess. Um, look, when you spend, this was I think thirty five. US dollars plus shipping. Um, you don't get a lot for your for your buck, but it does look like it's good quality. Um, let's have a look here. The stitching. It's just got double stitching at the end. It looks like it's already starting to pull here. Mind you, hasn't been used yet, um, and it's fully stitched to the back. All right, let's just put a couple of cards and see how it goes. Now, I normally have. Uh, approximately, what have I got? If I just check my personal wallet, there is three, five, seven, eight cards plus bills. So let's just do the test with the equivalent amount of cards. So there's three. Uh, take out the trusted uh, blank cards here. Now, keeping in mind that you know a lot of the manufacturers, while well, some uh, tell you some don't. 
Um, but you know, it makes a difference whether the cards are printed or not, if they've got embossing on it or not. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cards. So the idea is this. We've got the quick access cards, which I will put at the front. So let's just pretend these three are the ones that I need on a daily basis. And then we've got these ones here, which I'll put through the back. Uh, there's another four, which are the sort of the archive of cards. You know what? Let's just add this Chipolo uh, tracker in there too, for the sake of this exercise. Okay, so now we have the cards in there. Flick the elastic over and done. So now with seven cards and a Chipolo uh, card tracker, uh, and actually if you haven't seen that review, feel free to watch it, it's pretty cool. Um, what's the thickness now? I would say about 15 mil, but it is small. It is still a quite small uh, little gadget. So now let's just add some notes. So the idea behind these is you can A, add coins, and the coins go in this side here. So there is a slot where you can either A, put your coins in, because when you close it and you put the elastic around, the coins aren't coming out, but if you take the elastic off, coin gets out. Pretty nifty. Alternatively, you can slide a note, so maybe this could be your secret stash that sits in there. So you can't even see the note in there, which I think is pretty handy for a bit of, uh, bit of security. Flip this over again, and you've got notes in it. And if you wanna have your daily carry, well there's another uh, $20, $20 in there, put in the back, you fold it, once again, you don't see the note unless you open the leather and you don't know there's a secret list of one stashed in there. So, I don't know. I think it's one of these things that if I left this on the table, let's get this measuring tape out of the way. If I left this on the table, I think it looks quite nice. I think it looks elegant. Um, it looks classy. And it could raise a few questions around, well, what is that? That's unusual. I do like the embossed uh, logo here, Fox, uh, which is, I guess, a shape of a fox. Uh, it's pretty nifty. I'm already finding that unless you get the elastic perfect, it, it will crease. Um, but you know what? It is a nifty little gadget. Again, let's just compare it um, to something like the Belleroy Slim Sleeve. And as you can see, it is pretty thin. Now, if I wanted to get my cards out quickly, pull the tab. There's my first card. Thank you very much. Back in there, push it in and that go, the little tab goes back in there again. Again, pull it out. They don't fan out or anything, they just, I guess, all come out at the same time. I think, perhaps I've got too many cards in here. Maybe it's the Chipotle card that's adding a little bit. I mean, the Chipotle card is probably the equivalent of two or two and a half standard cards. And let's try again. Okay, so now it's even, now it's even thinner um, and less bulky, but hey, I'm gonna keep it in there because that's what I got it for. I don't know, I'm, uh, I'm impressed so far. I do like the color, I do like the leather. Um, the smell test definitely passes and I do like the fact that, you know, it looks a bit unusual. Uh, it does give you more features. I think maybe the elastic could get annoying at times. Um, I think once you also start using it and it does start to form around your cards, it will be a little bit more uh, well, it will age, because it's pretty thick, it's gonna take time for it to age and form and you know get a nice patina, but it is something that will last you for a long time, unless the stitching is crap on this elastic or it stretches. Uh, that's my concern always with wallets like this, that you know this elastic, if you increase too many cards, then you decrease the cards, increase, decrease. Um, is it gonna let go? I don't know, um, a similar, a similar card or you know system with elastic is used in other wallets as well, um, but I don't know. I don't even know how to test if the uh, the elastic is really really good quality or not. But in hand, it does feel quite solid. So yeah, I mean, it's small, it's basic. There's not much materials used at all, to be honest with you. Um, What's well, price fair? But let's just. Uh, Let's just dive deeper. I mean, here's the, the Ridge wallet. Um, 
just for comparison. Uh, Size-wise, it's very, very similar. Yeah, the leather adds a bit of bulk, but it also adds a bit of class, uh, I think, the leather. Um, but this uses the same sort of uh, elastic, I guess, that, you know, I thought it may stretch over time, but it's, it hasn't yet. Granted that the elastic in the Ridge wallet does feel a little bit more refined, but I definitely am no elastic expert. And here is the branding actually right at the back if uh, you like to have a look, if the camera would like to focus. Box C2 completed. Uh, not sponsored, I, I paid for this. Uh, it was a Father's Day gift to me from the kids, but I got to pick it. Um, the new like wallet, so I picked this one. So this, I'm noticing this little elastic here, the way it forms is quite, maybe just the way I put the cards in, or, or perhaps you're only supposed to put two quick access cards in there and the rest in here. Does that make a difference? No. Nah. Where the stitching is on the wallet there, it does add a little bit of bulk and thickness there, but again, it is a piece of elastic uh, wrapped around a piece of leather. I like it, I'm impressed, and I think I'm gonna use it. So yeah, so far so good. Um, as in, I'm, I'm quite impressed. I'm looking forward to using it. It's, I don't know, just from the travel itself, and um, it, it took you know some time to get delivered from Germany. Uh, I can already see some patina that's developing from scratches and so forth, uh, and maybe not my early fingers, but it looks like one that's going to age well. Um, definitely slim. Uh, if I look at compared to so, say my current uh, Bellroy um, slim sleeve, it is, and that's a small wallet. I mean, this gives you a bit of an indication of the, of the size. As you can see, even the Bellroy wallet does stick out by about you know maybe about 15 mil. It is a tiny little thing, and it's so small that it almost feels like it's. Um, you got a bunch of credit cards, which ideally it is, that you can just put in your uh, front pocket, uh, shirt pocket, wherever you want to put it. But um, I think this elastic stuff is going to take some time to get used to, being that I've got to constantly open and close it versus a traditional, say, a bifold that you sort of open and close quickly. But hey, um, something different, something new. I picked it. I can't wait till you, you know, start using it. So thanks for tuning in. My name is Sash, and this is ST Reviews. Goodbye.